Welcome back to the Sunday Sports Frenzy. When you walk through the pits, there's a desire to race week in and week out. It's in their veins, getting off work and rushing to the track. And on occasion, that's Trey Hibner. He was introduced to racing at a very young age and was instantly hooked. Everyone has their unique story of how they got into racing, and it always seems to start with a family connection. For 22-year-old Trey Hivner of Manchester, it starts with a backyard track when he was just four, spending hours on the dirt. My grandpa, my uncle built the track, and they, they threw it together, and I ended up loving it. I would ride till my back was back in blue. For a decade, Hibner works his way through go-karts, from cage carts back to flat carts. Before he's even eligible for his permit, Hibner and his dad makes the decision to jump from go-karts to sprint cars. But during that transition period, they take a year off to assemble a 358 sprint car, and in time, reaches the 410 division. We skipped the the, the micros and, and anything else in between there. It was, it was straight from go-karts to sprint cars. That's simply because it took a year to build the sprint car just to practice with it. Under his helmet, a different story begins around the same time of when he first started racing. Hivner has only 60% of his hearing. I didn't find out until probably uh, kindergarten or first grade. Um, and since then, I've been wearing hearing aids. It doesn't really affect much in the racing world, but I do still wear them. I do still wear one hearing aid so I can hear the officials if I ever pull over. That's, that's pretty much the only thing. Uh, hearing aids don't affect me too much. During the season, Hivner relies greatly on his team to maintenance the car Thursday nights. His job can be very demanding, long overnight shifts as a millwright and welder. As he's set to begin his fifth season in a 410 with a different motor program, he has hopes of adding a few more area tracks to his resume. It's just something we love doing. It's not something very easy to stop at all. 